वेलकम टू मेटामेरिज्म सो व्हाट इज मेटामेरिज्म वेल इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमेरिज्म दैट इज टू कंपाउंड्स विल हैव द सेम मॉलिक्यूलर फार्मूला बट डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चरल फार्मूला एंड द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू नोट इज इट इज डिस्प्लेड बाय कंपाउंड्स विद नॉन टर्मिनल फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इट मींस टू बी अ नॉन टर्मिनल फंक्शनल ग्रुप and then we can talk about metamerism let's focus on this molecule and i can break it down into two parts if you focus on this section this is the functional group okay and this section over here you can call it the carbon chain and now you can see that the carbon chain is present on only one side of the functional group so what do we call these kind of functional groups we call them terminal functional groups okay so what are terminal functional groups those groups which are connected to carbon atoms or the carbon chain on only one side are called terminal functional groups for example oh or cooh or the aldehyde group CHO etc all these groups will have carbon chain on only one side and so we call them terminal functional group so what are non terminal functional group that's the point of our discussion right so let's take a look at this compound it's an ether and you can see that the functional group is present right over here and that we have carbon chains on both sides of the functional group so we have two carbon chains one on each side and that is what we call the non terminal functional group another example of a non terminal functional group is the ketone group so if i draw acetone you can see that we have ch3 c double bond o ch3 and we have carbon chains on both sides of the functional group and so it is also a non terminal functional group now back to our discussion metamerism is only shown by compounds which have non terminal functional group so does this alcohol show metamerism no what about the acid ch3 c double bond o oh well once again the carbon chain is present on only one side so this will also not show metamerism metamerism is only shown by compounds which have non terminal functional group let's take a few examples to see metamerism in action take a look at this ether it has four carbon atoms and 3 to 5 to 7 3 10 hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom and it has carbon chains on both sides of the functional group so this molecule is capable of showing metamerism so what exactly is metamerism well how many carbon atoms are present on the left side two right and how many carbon atoms are present on the right once again two if i draw an isomer of this ether by keeping three carbon atoms on one side like that and then the functional group and then the final carbon atom and now when we count the number of carbon atoms we will have three carbon atoms on the left side and only one carbon atom on the right hand side so the number of carbon atoms that's right the number of carbon atoms on both sides of the functional group are different in the two compounds and that folks is what we call metamerism 
let's take another example we have CH3 CH2 C double bond O CH2 CH3 so the number of carbon atoms on the left side of the ketonic functional group is 2 and on the right also it is 2 and if we change this compound slightly and write CH3 CH2 CH2 C double bond O CH3 then this time the number of carbon atoms on the right will be 1 and on the left it will be 3 and therefore these two compounds are called metamers because they have different number of carbon atoms in the chains on both sides of the functional group. So guys that's all about metamerism. In the next video we are going to see tautomerism. See you.